Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from Planning and Teaching. Today is another Plan With Me and my Teacher Edition um, Happy Planner. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, really quickly, uh, if you hear me get quiet for a second, it's because I'm grabbing some water. If you can't tell, my voice is kind of going out. Um, so last week, plans were pretty much shot because we went to school, but we did not go to school until Thursday. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to accomplish all of the things that I needed to accomplish. So this week's plan with me is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to kind of check off some of the things that I was able to accomplish and then move those things over. Um, so I'm just going to use a paper mate flare to do that. And I'm going to zoom in for you guys so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit. Okay. Um, so... We did chapters. We did not get to this. I introduced their roles. I did their group schedules. We um, group assignments and schedules. Did not do roots. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. So we're going to be moving that over. Didn't get to any writing. Did not get to any language revision. Um, we worked on this, we did this, we did this, we did not do the quiz, um, this did not get done, none of this got done. Okay, so now I did do this, okay, and this was rescheduled, so I'm going to pull out my yellow teacher sticker book. There are some rescheduled stickers in here. I'm just going to put that right over here. It was rescheduled. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pop out the next week. And I'm going to also keep this week's, just so I will have something, uh, this previous week's, just so I have something to kind of put in place. So as usual, I'm using my yellow teacher sticker book. I'm also going to be using my seasonal, possibly my green sticker teacher sticker book, which is the um, can't remember the name of this one. I just call it the green one. Then the Sweet Life student and the Friday student sticker book. So these are the five. That I'm going to be pulling from. If you guys have not seen my picture on Instagram, I have gone in and named, um, wrote the names of all of my sticker books on the top. So, um, as usual, I'm using these stickers, and this video is coming up as well to show you guys how to create these. The Avery 18294 Easy Peel Address Labels. You can pick these up from Walmart for $4.44. Okay, guys, so now that I have all of my labels laid down, um, this is the third week of the third nine weeks. So that's why it says 3.3. And we are in the month of January. I'm going to go ahead and start um, on this side with my social studies small group miscellaneous in next week. I know I typically start with reading first, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start with social studies because it seems like that was um, what I was able to work through the most. So I accomplished everything on this list except for the quiz. And so I'm going to give my students a quiz on... Probably Tuesday. I do not like to quiz my kids um, on a Monday coming back from school. They tend to forget things. So I am going to um, quiz them on Tuesday. Okay. So I just grabbed some little single sheets that I can use. And I want to use... This quiz one. So I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to write. Ch 
chapter 13 quiz because that's what week we're on. Okay, I am going to go ahead and start my students off on 14. I want to go ahead and give that out and introduce 14. And this is an assignment that they're going to complete. I'm going to do think and review. Okay. And then we are going to do chapter 14. Article number one, chapter 14, article number two, chapter 14, article number three, crossword puzzle. speech do um, we're gonna have our speech presentations select students because everybody's not gonna want to share so I'm gonna allow the ones that want to share and then uh, think and review. Chapter 14, okay. So I have social studies laid out. So um, I'm gonna let the red icons this week signify things that I'm taking a grade for. And that'll be on all of my subjects. And the yellow icons for social studies will just identify exactly what we're going to be doing that day. So I'm getting quite a few grades in social studies this week. Alright, so that is social studies. Okay, next up we have small groups. So I typically um, try to do my small groups by utilizing um, checklists or clipboards and I'm out of them. So Well, I'm out of most of them. Let me see. I do have some checklists, I believe, in the student edition. But it just may be a little... Um... I like this sticker here and I'm going to put it, I'm going to set it right in the middle of miscellaneous and next week. Then I'm going to pull out a sticker book that I typically don't use and that's my trendsetter because it has these gorgeous like um, confetti stickers here and they're clear. So I'm just going to drop one right 
there. And small one at the top. And one more around the side. Then I have a piece that kind of came off the paper. Just cut that. And I'm going to take that piece and just lay it around. Okay. So these will be um, some things that I want to get checked out this week. It seems impossible until it's done. Love that quote. Any checklist stickers, but I had an idea for um, something that I could use, and that are these All in the Day's Work stickers. Now, I don't need those tines, so I'm going to take this teal washi that I have here and lay it down right on top of there. So I'm going to use this Sharpie pen in like a hot pink, I guess it is. And I'm going to, before I do that, I need another little piece of washi to cover up the, the piece that says today's schedule. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write to the side, small group plans for week three okay so I'm going to um, centers every day 20 minutes each three rotations so I'm going to cover vocabulary literature comprehension and I'm going to cover um, informational ticks. So Monday is going to be vocabulary, Tuesday is going to be lit comp, and Wednesday is going to be informational ticks. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do quick checks. Um, I'm going to differentiate those by level for my students. And then on Friday, I will do a review. Now, I do have a super duper top priority that I need to lay down and that is tier students. I have to get make sure my tier is completed. So I'm going to see if I can find a top priority sticker, but I do see a don't forget sticker, so I'm going to grab it really quick. Alright, I don't see that in there, but I know that there's one in the productivity sticker book, so let me grab it.
I'm just going to grab this um, yellow and pink sticker that says to do. And I'm going to lay it in the middle. And I'm going to put, don't forget, in the place of that to do sticker. And then I'm also going to place a important banner at the bottom and I'm also going to place an urgent sticker kind of going catty corner just so I remember and I'm going to use my flare pen tier 2 okay now there's some things that I need to do um, for miscellaneous and those things are kind of dealing with tier two just some things that I need to collect so I'm just going to grab a to-do sticker kind of matches what I have going on in as far as color scheme I would love if there was a blue one but I definitely don't see one But in my big rainbow sticker book, there are these flags, and these are perfect because miscellaneous doesn't have to be done on a particular day. I just need to get it checked off for the week. So I'm just going to lay these down close to the lines I can get it. Okay, and so. Um, I need a header. And I'm going to use one from the big sticker book as well. I'm going to use this one that says to do. Okay. It's so things that I need to get done, I need to do the file cabinet, I need to do the library, and I need to look into the closet. I need to type parent letter. And this is a big, big priority. So I'm going to put a little star beside this one. Okay. Um, I'm also going to remember I have to finish my book cards. Um, last nine weeks plans. Go gold sheets. And then I got three student videos and I'm not done there are a few more things that I need to get done so I need one more and this one may make it a little and not make it all the way yeah it makes it it hangs off just a little bit but it's okay um so three student videos that I want to get um 
done. Uh, Google Classroom loaded. Um, where the mountain meets the moon. Activities. Um, and this item, I'm just going to put a little heart beside because it probably won't get accomplished, but I want to have it on the list. Um, but I, I'm, that's why I'm just writing everything down. Um, and then, um, print this week's forms. <clears throat> so I made a to-do list of all the things that I want to get accomplished. They probably all won't get done, but what I'll do is each day, I will add something um, to the list and actually I'm going to put my top priorities here so definitely print this week's papers. I need to do three videos, go gold. Uh, I want to get four standards. Um, <clears throat> I want to type parent letter. And I want to reorganize my filing cabinet. Okay, so those are the top part of these week, this week. So you'll see me pull this sheet a lot um, just so I can kind of check these things off. But I wanted to have those down so that I just wouldn't forget. <clears throat> oh, another thing I need to add to the list is um, bank charts. Okay, perfect. So that's all of this week for social studies, small group, and miscellaneous. So now this was last week's reading. So let's look at what we have to do for this week. Monday, we want to finish chapter one of Johnny Tremaine. We want to talk about character analysis. We want to talk about character analysis. We want to get into lit circles, centers, and we want to talk about our root words. Okay. On Tuesday, I'm going to do chapter two of Journey Tremaine. I'm going to still be talking about character analysis. We're going to go to lit circles, centers, and root words. Okay, then we're going to do... Chapter 3 of Journey Tremaine, and we're going to do a quick check on character analysis. Going to lit circles, and then we're going to centers. 
We're going to do root words and we're going to talk about figurative language. Okay, on Thursday, we're going to do a Jenny Tremaine quick check. Chapter 4 of Jenny Tremaine. Next circles, figurative language, and root words, and centers. Um, on Friday, most likely we are going to do a quiz. Okay, so I'm going to leave Friday open so that I can kind of fill in the blank a little bit. But I am going to have a quiz on Friday for my students on character analysis. Okay, and then I'm going to review. All right, so for writing, <clears throat> we're going to do everything that we have posted to do from last week. So I'm going to take one of these little cute flags, and that's going to signify what writing skill we're working on for the week. So it's going to be persuasive. So on Monday, we're going to introduce the components. And then I'm going to show them a um, sample speech. We're going to talk about um, the speech that they're going to be writing. And then we're going to look at component number one and they're going to do that independent practice for their speech and then they're going to we're going to look at component number two independent practice for their speech <clears throat> same thing here component number three independent practice for their speech and component number four, independent practice for their speech. And then final draft due. Now I know you're wondering um, why you have a final draft due if they're independent practicing for their speech because for language we're gonna be looking at revising and editing so I think that's such a cute little flag I'm going to use it for language 2 and it's going to be revi revise and edit okay so what we're going to do is look at the tools for revision and then we're going to revise some examples they're going to partner correction we're going to look at the tools for editing and then we're going to edit some examples and they're going to partner edit. I'm going to look at the tools for revision. We're going to revise an example. And then they're going to partner revise. So they're going to edit and they are going to revise every 
single day. So they're going to edit and revise, and then we'll do the final draft. Okay. Now, because I don't have, <clears throat> we probably won't be doing much with this on Friday. Um, probably next week, I will give them a full paper to complete on their own in one sitting. So that's what I'm going to do for that one. So I'm just looking for a quote. I like this one that says, seasons change, so do we. So I'm going to put that one right there. Seasons change, and so do we. Let me back you guys up a little bit. Okay. And then I have room for a few little bitty stickers. So I have this little apple. Kind of lay right there. And I'm going to put memories because I've been taking pictures. Okay. And then, um... This little sticker that says kisses and hugs. So I'm going to just kind of put that over here in the corner. Yeah, love that. So, there is my layout. Let me widen it up for you guys so you can see. So, here is my layout for next week. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pop that back into my teacher planner. Hopefully, by this time next week, my voice is back. <clears throat> so I will actually be able to be my loud self in class. If you are a fellow planner, I do have my own teacher Instagram, and it is known as the Classy Sassy Teacher. You will also see some updates coming on this page as well. So I'm going to pop this back in. Now, the one thing that you didn't see me do, and I'm going to do that super quick, is you did not see me write in our specials. Now, I'm going to just write them in this week. So, we go to PE on Monday, music on Tuesday, Wednesday we have library, Thursday we have computer. And Friday we have P.E. Alright. So you guys, that is going to wrap up my plan with me and my teacher happy planner. Thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, the winner for the giveaway will be posted on tomorrow on Instagram for sure. And I will probably post it in the description box of my mini planner because it will be uploaded on tomorrow. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. Happy planning and teaching. Bye.